expecting it and then wasn't expecting it. <laughs> So you, you know that, but yeah, you haven't fixed it. I've put pressure in it. <laughs> I need to go to the dealer and be like, yes. hey, why does my tire lose pressure all the time? So what do we get? 27.5 PSI, it's supposed to be on 33. Uh, so you've lost a little bit, yes. Yeah, it's fair. It's enough to be a problem. Let's go go straight to the petrol uh, station, pull it up. With air, yeah, not fuel. Obviously, I've got a little warm up as well. Yeah. I'm not gonna put my foot down. And also, if it's um, if it's got like different pressures in the tires, the traction control doesn't like it. Oh, at all, yeah. It is, it's like trying to, you're trying to get the car yeah. forward, but you know the rear right's probably going at a different speed. I don't know whether yes. or not it would be trying to it would be slipping or having more grip or whatever. But yeah, the traction control kind of like blinks off quite a lot. Yeah. Um, obviously, that's also maybe related to the fact that uh, it's just got lots of power. <laughs> so why are you pumping on this tire again? Well, this one was on 20, uh, 33, it's supposed to be on 35. And the other side's on 27, so... Do you get to pick the colour of the calipers? No, uh, if you get the, the sport pack or the performance, the RS performance package, yeah. Get red calipers. Oh, okay. Um, the the RS performance pack gives you the red calipers, which just basically tells you that you have it. But then you get the uh, magnetic ride, uh, mag magno leader logy, whatever the fuck, right? Um, suspension. Yeah, the magnetic suspension. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the carbon inlays on the inside. Oh, yeah. And probably something else, but I don't remember. But the part that I wanted was the mag. Shops. No, apparently the front's pretty good. These have got uh, two five fives on the front and two three fives on the rear. So they're actually Ooh. a staggered setup. So we're gonna get understeer. Understeer. Yeah. So then it'll, it'll be more neutral. Yeah. And it does work. That's for sure. You can definitely feel it. Uh, you can see the brake dust. Maybe it does need a wash. They're not ceramics? No, you, that's an option, but I think it's like six or seven thousand dollars in Australia. Yeah, right. And I mean, it works exactly the same, except that if you go out on a track, which I'm not going to do, they'll last for longer. And then around town, apparently, it's wheels, so. We can, uh, oh. We're in the right spot now. Yeah. There's motorbikes. <laughs> if you see a lot of motorbikes, you're in a good place to Many drive motorbikes. a vehicle. I was going to say, I can test out our braking keys, but um, there's a car behind me. Yeah, don't do that. My style. Uh, you can do a breakage. Well, I'll show you the, bra the breakage test. I'm going to brace myself first. So Ready? I can hear. Yep. Three, two, one. It's going to hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. Holy shit. It's not bad for non ceramics. Up to 80. Yep. And down to 79. Excellent. It actually breaks really well. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I don't think anyone. It's, it would be unreasonable for anyone to say, like, oh, this car's. It performs pretty good. Yeah. Like, it, it's very, very good. You can't, you can't deny that the performance of this car is insane. For, for what you get, for like, for a hatch. Yeah. We're going to find a place to do some nice cinematography. Every time I get out after a bit of vigorous driving, I turn around, look at the car and just go, 
holy shit, I can't believe that can do what it just did. Yeah. It's just amazing. Oh shit, that road looks pretty dangerous. Look at that. Probably be repeating that stuff because it's, it's uh, interesting content in how everything feels really premium. Yeah, like. Yeah. Turn here. Turn, turn my knob. You want me to touch your knob? Yep. Oh, yes. Is that not small, feel, but does it's that not good. feel like a really nice knob? It's accurate. Yep. Are you looking where you're going on the road? Or? Oh, you know. I'm just playing with your knob. When someone, no when someone, get, someone's playing with your knob. It, no it, need to get the shows. Um, it does kind of screw up your concentration. So mainly like metal fittings, I'm guessing, with nice mm, plastic. Well, it's, not, it's like a rubber or something. Rubber? Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure if Amy was watching, you'd tell me what kind of rubber it was. This looks a little bit more windy. Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. He must not be going 60. This guy? Yeah. Because we're doing 60. No, I think he must be going a bit slower. Is he actually turning off for us? Cheers. I forgot how much it breaks. I'm guessing you know this road just a little bit. No, not at all. It handles so nicely. Nice. Oh, look at the weight transfer. So what PSI are we running? Uh, I believe these are 21 PSI from the factory, which is right up there. Uh, yeah. 2.5 litre, five cylinder. Um, these will make 500 horsepower. I think 500 on the stock turbo, I think it's the limit. Oh yeah. So with a tune only, you can get pretty damn close to 500 wheel, it, wheel yeah. horsepower. Right. That's so that's sense. like 370 kilowatts. Ish yeah, okay. Ballpark or 350, I think. I don't know. It's quite a lot. It's a lot of power. And that'll go 0 to 100 in the low three second mark. Yeah. And quarter mile in low 11s. Yeah, okay. Um, stock, they'll do, I believe, high 11s. Which yeah, okay. is mental fast. What, yeah. I mean, you know, you remember from, was it two th early 2000s or whatever, when uh, Fast and Furious came out? Yeah. They're like, oh, I got a 10 second car. Yep. This is nearly a 10 second car. Yes. That you can go and buy. Legally on the road. Not yes. even just legally, like it's <laughs> not even true. It's a stock. You can go to the to a dealership with a fair bit of money, obviously, but you can go to the dealership, buy one, and you have an 11 second car. Yeah. That's crazy. And off, it's not even. Off the deal. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not even like a supercar or. Yeah. It's not an exotic, it's just a car. Alright. I'm gonna. I'll do a launch control then, hey? Oh, yeah, just. Yeah. I thought you had to be straight ish. That's straight ish. Isn't it? Kinda. It's sort of like straight. Alright. I'll just make sure that no one's coming continuously. Okay. Ready? Yep. See me moving around everywhere. These chairs are pretty good though. Yeah. A little bit of a wiggle there. Wow. Yeah, I was gonna say. That's amazing. <laughs> Thousand RPM because I just don't really? need 
that extra down, bit. I don't yeah. need to be at five or six thousand RPM. Yeah. It pushes. So, this is fourth. Ready? Okay, it's we're doing still 80, falling. Now we're doing 81. Now we're doing 82. Holy Jesus Christ. Just. I'm just in fourth. I'm not doing gears now. Yeah. Gears are not necessary. <laughs> wow. A little bit different to uh, 86? Yeah, but holy Jesus, does it handle well? Holy Jesus. This is just. This is ridiculous. It actually feels. I think I'm going to say this now. I'm going to get shit if I put this online. But I think it actually feels better on twisty back roads than the 86 does. Really? It's that's a big commitment. Really good. That's a big commitment. Yeah, it is. But holy Jesus, this is. It feels really good. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just the the like the amount of pressure you can put it into corners like. How firmly it'll, it'll sit in a corner, yeah, in yeah. grip, is way higher than the levels. Well, of it seems like levels. it just holds its line. Yeah, it, like, yeah, it, it, I don't. I'm not even close. Yeah, to it. I, yes, there's like a tiny bit of squeal every now and again where I'm just like a little tiny bit under where yeah. I'm, you know, the, the weight distribution's not might set up right because I'm trying to keep it safe. But I don't feel the majority of the time that I'm anywhere near the limit of grip. Yeah, and I feel like I've still got control over the front end. Even when it when it, you can just the wiggle, it yeah, scrub. But you're still, I if still you feel just, like I could turn in more if I needed to, or I can hit the brakes and like settle the front and turn it in even better. Yeah, I, if you had to. Yeah, if I need to. Yeah. I'm not pushing it to its limit. I'm not even close. Whereas the 86, if I was doing anywhere near that, that would be the limit. Yeah. Actually, I I don't think the 86 could have done any of that to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I was going to say. Like. Maybe it, it wouldn't work because it's only rear-wheel drive, but it would be nice to have the 86 with more power than it currently has for that sort of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it does feel quite... There's, there are a lot of times in the 86 on an Evo, even in... You know, it's an 87. Even if you don't speed, even if you're just doing the speed limit, there are times you come out of a corner in second, let's say. Yeah. Put your foot down and it's going to take you still to get seconds yeah. to get to the speed limit. Yeah. Whereas this thing, I'm, I'm not even using the revs because it has so much torque. Yeah. That um, was excellent. Yeah, it handles pretty nice. That was great. Right. I'm really impressed. Uh, oil temperature, 89, uh, sorry, 98 degrees. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, 89 degrees. Yeah. Uh, water temperature, 90. Fuel usage, 17.5 uh, litres per 100k. <laughs> yeah. Not in a condo box. Yeah. Not at the moment. Uh, tire temperatures 46, 45 for the rear, 62, 64 for the front. All right, so I put some heat into the front. So. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's probably why it felt like it was really gripping up. Yeah, because it's like it really softened those tires up. Oh, he just hit him. Did he? Was that a hit? Mm. Yes, they did. Yeah. Got out of the car. What an idiot! I'm glad I wasn't in front of that guy. Yep. Oh yeah. Watch this problem. I'll show you a problem with this car. When you don't do launch control. When you don't. Do when you launch... don't do launch okay. control, but yep. you launch hard. Yes. It goes for like half a second or less, bogs down, and then goes properly. It's very annoying. You'll see it now. Oh, what? Yeah, right. Why? Why? It's, why all, it's almost a little bit embarrassing. Yeah, it's annoying. Because yeah. you want to go, and I can't, like, decide Is that just the setting, be. though? Like, can you... It doesn't matter what mode you're in. Yeah, right. If you have it in auto, manual, sports, auto, you know, drive auto, it doesn't matter. If you put your foot down, yeah. it will bog down for at least... What? Half a second before it properly gets you, you know, gives you the power that you that you want. Um, can you go full like even in full manual mode? That was full manual. Oh. Yeah, so, no, nah, I don't like that. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah it's a it strange, makes no it's a sense. Strange thing.
Das ist ein Dichtwort. Jetzt aus. Jetzt sind wir in uh, like normal. Wir sind in just normal drive at the moment. So, so in the case, wir sind auf der linken Seite. No handbrake? That's automatic. Mm -hmm. I thought the dash would be like more in your face. Yeah, but it's, but it's completely not, fine. Hey, it's perfect. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not distracting. No. I'll just give it a little bit of more. Jesus <laughs> I wasn't expecting. Like I was expecting it, and then wasn't expecting it. <laughs> it's got. It's got some go. Yeah, way more than I thought. How does that little pop? When you just like low speed. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's why it uses so much fuel because, yes, if you're in yeah, the normal whole, mode, yeah. it sits between 1 and 2000 RPM. Yeah. But when you drive it in manual mode at low speeds, you just rev it out to 3 or 4 anyway. Just good, because yeah. it sounds so good. Like, <laughs> you're, you can't help the, you're not, it's not that it's using fuel for performance, it's using fuel for sound. Just for sound. It's, it's, it's a great, it's a great yeah. thing though. I love it. So, what's our fuel efficiency at the moment? Yeah. Oh, that's I'm doing uh, really good. 15.8. Way better than you. <laughs> That's sick. Cool. Do I literally not put a handbrake on? No, just put it into park. No, no, you go across into it. Uh, yep, and then up. And that's it. Press the off button. And you're good. The handbrake comes on. You can see up there. On the dash. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. I can't believe how good that is. It's insane. It's insane. Thank you.